For the past 15 years, Greenville has hosted its annual Heritage Days weekend. The event has grown in popularity over the years. In order to provide the Shenango Valley a great festival experience, organizers say they need help. First News Mercer County reporter Hannah Erdman shares the needs and changes that are ahead this summer. Changes to Greenville's Heritage Days are coming this summer, and one of those big changes is including not having any activities on Sunday. The summer festival is every July. Last year, they moved it from the second weekend to the first one of the month. This year, more changes are to come. On Saturday, it'll be the normal 12 to 8. However, Saturday night's going to be fireworks now, and we just won't have anything on Sunday. The shortened weekend was decided because they lack committee members. Just about anybody is more than welcome and desperately needed and will be welcomed with open arms. <laughs> Jean says commitment levels can fluctuate. Anyone interested can put in as much or as little as they can. I think as we do good work and um, we're, we'll, I think the more people we get, the more we can benefit the people of Greenville and give them more community things to participate in. As a lifelong resident of the town, it's, it's really exciting to see good things happen. Um, and there are a lot of people who put forth a lot of effort, so I'm proud to be associated with them. Jean, who's led the group for some time, hopes they can continue to provide the Shenango Valley a wonderful summer festival year after year. This means everything to me. Heritage Day says I've been doing it for so many years. If you are interested in donating money or time to support Heritage Days, you can contact organizers directly over the phone or by email. For Mercer County coverage in Greenville, Hannah Erdman, WKBN 27 First News.